for Montgomery County. Have a question, comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station on IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. A Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question or comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station at IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. That's right. You're listening to Mornings of Lone Star here on IRLoneStar.com. Your host, Dick, here. That means if you're hearing my voice, we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Just check out Lone Star Community Radio. we got a special guest coming in today because there's an opportunity to help a family in need. We're going to talk about how to give. A, they're giving away an HVAC system to a family here in the Montgomery County area. We're going to learn all about it right now. In the studio with me, I have Carl's Quality Cooling and Heating, LLC, with Justin and Taylor. What's going on, guys? Oh, Not oh, much. Now man. we're just looking at <laughs> each other. <laughs> yeah. Just so, happy to be here, man. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You guys, actually, I met you through, y'all were on another show previously, was the Texas Ticket. And I, I thought what y'all were doing was so cool. I wanted you on my show because I wanted more people to know about it. So we have Justin and Taylor. And let's. Uh, what I want you guys to do is just introduce yourself and how are you part of Carl's Quality uh, Cooling and Heating you don't mind yeah so my name is justin tubbs i've been working at carl's for uh just over five years now as their residential system design specialist so so you design the hvac systems for new homes new homes and uh, but mainly in retrofit situations so i go into someone's house and if they have like serious airflow issues comfort okay. issues things like that i have all the certifications and classes behind under my belt to take care of those issues so when justin comes to your house it's expensive that's that's what i'm hearing well it's a free consultation okay there you go (laughs) yeah but it normal so and also we do just i do normal change outs too hey we you know we need a new hvac system yeah uh we'd like to get your opinion but most houses we find need some pretty you know, either substantial or minor uh, system improvements to make sure people get 100% of what they pay for. And that's where the system design comes in. Yeah, because a lot of people, I don't think they realize that how much goes into a good HVAC system. Because, you know, when people, especially when they build houses, they always got to figure out the best system. Mm -hmm. And then if it doesn't work, you're kind of screwed. You're going to be like, oh, we don't have enough, you know, vents or whatever. Like I remember at the studio, the first studio I was in, it was one of those places that they it was 10 different things before. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have a return air mm. in the front studio. It's pretty important. Yeah. And they never had that much equipment in that room. So when it was summertime and we had a windows looking downtown, so it's like you on the square. And I'll never forget for like six months, it's just hot mm-hmm. all the time in that room. And if you're in that room for more than an hour, you're sweating. Mm. And I was, I always called the landlord. I was like, hey, what's going on? Like, can we do something? Like, do I need to put you know, tent up on the windows or I can't have fans just blowing the whole time because we're on the air. And then uh, after like two years, he finally got an HVAC guy to come out. And he's like, you know, you don't have a return air, right? Nope. No idea. I have no idea how that stuff works. So after that, it worked after that. But so let's talk about Taylor. Taylor, what do you do over there? Yeah. So my name's Taylor. I've been with Carl's for three years now. Uh, I'm the general manager there. So I oversee the operations on a day-to-day basis. Um, very blessed to be in this role. Uh, I don't come from an HVAC background, mm-hmm. um, but I, I came in as a commercial installer uh, during COVID. Uh, I was working in hospitality before that, and um, during the COVID crisis, uh, all our hotels closed down, so I was without work. And uh, so I was working in commercial install for, for Carl's for a while, and I, they knew my background, they knew my resume, and they asked me to come into the office one day and uh, start 
looking over the books, and here I am now. Okay. Well, yeah. one thing I got to ask about Carl's: what is the service area? Is it just is it just everywhere? Like I'll go to Alaska if you're called? No, not so quite. Do, well, you know, if uh, the price is right. That's, so, why, that's well, what I was wondering. No, What's well, the price? Well, we are licensed for the state of Texas, okay. so mm-hmm. not those other places. But Taylor can probably be more accurate on our service area. But Greater Conroe, North Houston, yeah. you know, Willis, Conroe, Woodlands, around the lake, a little bit of Huntsville. Yeah, uh, Tomball as well, oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting because you, you never know what when someone says, oh, we service the greater Houston area. I'm like, that's really big. That's huge. Yeah. So what, what, if someone's listening and wants your service, they don't, I don't want them to find out they can't be serviced because. Sure. Well, what we try to do is just have a reasonable radius where we can reach people in a timely manner. Yeah. And so, and we find that <clears throat> like North Houston and then maybe a little bit of a Huntsville area type and that sort of drew a big circle around that. We can reasonably do that. For some of our customers who maybe have multiple properties, we'll go a little farther, but we just try to be within a reasonable reach of our customers. Just, I guess, most of the time people are calling you is they're in trouble. Most of the time. Correct. Yeah. And when people have a, a non functioning air conditioning and it's 100 plus degrees outside, you know, they're pretty eager to get into working again. And, and joking aside, uh, I mean, some situations are truly life and death, right? Mm-hmm. So grandma's in her house alone. It's over 100 degrees. I mean, they need us to get there right away. So we try to have a responsible service area for that reason. So y'all do all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. So y'all just do service. Y'all do installs. I do custom installs. I do the whole design process and also the maintenance thing. Because is that a thing with a- – I saw that with a lot of AC places is like the maintenance package is a, a big sell. And I always feel like that's like a car dealership trying to – upsell me i'm like do we really need that i just need to change the filters right sure well you're right a lot of ac companies do use a maintenance agreement just as an excuse to get into your house and try to do the upsell yeah so we've earned that reputation in our industry uh but regular maintenance is actually very important to the proper functioning ac system so we do offer maintenance agreements where we actually do stuff yeah you know uh, instead of just go up in the attic and make noise and come down with a list of recommendations so regular ma- it's just like getting the oil changed and tires rotated on your car yeah. like those things are important. i don't do that though so uh, so far <laughs> so far it's 13 years and it's still going uh yeah. what yeah. when the, okay so we're going to talk about why y'all are here because Y'all, y'all give some. Y'all give back to the community, and it's a great opportunity to help a family in need. We're giving away a whole new HVAC system, or depending on the circumstance of the house, I imagine. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what I want to let people know is there is a link in the description where you can suggest a family, and you have till what did you say December fourteenth or fifteenth. Fifteenth. Yep. To nominate, you're nominating a family in need. So this isn't just like, oh, I have a five million dollar mansion in a house i want a free hvac it's not for that it's for a family in need so uh that's actually really cool so on by the 15th you people are nominating families and then y'all just draw out of a hat like a santa hat or something good question so we don't know (laughs) it's already been chosen no it's kidding it's not like that yeah uh but so, like, well, really what I'm asking is if somebody wins, when do they actually get it? Is it, like, a next year thing or before summer? That's what I'm really kind of hoping. Yeah, so. so we can't just draw it out of a hat because, unfortunately, there are some sort of, like, fraudulent or joke nominations that make their way in there. Oh, that's right. You know, and that happens sometimes. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, so what we do is we have uh, some people review the we don't do it we have a group of people that look at the nominations and review them and kind of judge them based on you know different criteria and then they just pick a list of finalists then the management at the company we look at it and then we select people and then we actually go to their homes and see what needs to be done because like i mentioned on the last program we were on we've had a couple of situations where people were told their system's down and out they can't do anything about they they can't fix it it's going to be tens of thousands of dollars to replace it and we ended up being able to fix it. You just turned it on. Just yeah, yeah. just it's reconnected like, oh, you, a wire. Is it plugged in? Yeah, yeah. So truly, we've had a couple of situations where it was totally repairable, and we were able to do those repairs, and we were totally happy to help those people. They didn't need a complete replacement. So, anyways, it goes through the review process. We narrow down to finalists, and we select a winner. Again, that link is in the description. So, if you know a family in need and want to partake in the giveaway from Carl's Quality Cooling Heating, it's every y'all, how many years have y'all been doing this? Five years now? Yeah, this is the fifth year. Yeah. This is the fifth year. So someone who doesn't win this year can win next year. Correct. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Well, so the, the nominations <laughs> don't roll over. But yeah. If they're nominated again, absolutely. Because 
I think that that's probably one of the most fascinating things about HVAC systems is the technology today and especially how to basically HVAC your house. When I say that, I mean like the windows and do all that kind of stuff because houses made 80 years ago are now horrible and mm -hmm. it's like you, you you get a whole HVAC system, but there's also other things you can do. But y'all just do HVAC. Just yes. do it. Yeah. And we, we do address other issues yeah. because you're correct. So today's high technology and high efficiency equipment isn't necessarily designed for last year's or 20 years ago or 25 years ago's homes yeah. in building science. And so we that's a big part of my role and uh, the other people who work at our company's role is properly designing a system and making modifications necessary to make sure that it functions properly in you know, because like a 15, 20 year old duct system is just not designed for today's equipment. And we make those necessary adjustments. And so that's what we provide for the giveaway as well as the whole package. And we don't just give away, you know, a bottom shelf scratch and dent unit that fell off a truck. We actually install like the best equipment you can get in our giveaway homes. So the install is included in the giveaway. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. hoping y'all just drop it off in a truck and be like, <laughs> good luck, guys. Yeah. Uh, so that's cool. So it's a basically a turnkey giveaway. So that's really cool. Yeah. And okay, so I'm going to ask, what's the coolest tech today in HVAC systems that people don't really know about? So the the best technology that we're the biggest fans of is a uh, variable speed air conditioning technology. So. So you're talking about the one that's in the attic that they so, can adjust depending on the temperature, and it's not like overrunning the engine and things like so, that. So no, it's indoor and outdoor. So the outdoor unit has a fully modulating compressor that only gives you the exact amount of air conditioning that you need. Okay. So what we call like classic air conditioning or, you know, old school air conditioning is just 100% on, 100% off. Mm -hmm. And that's an incredibly inefficient way to cool and heat your home. It's like if your car just had a button that was 100% on or 100% off. Like you would, I mean, imagine what they would do to your brakes, your transmission, all the parts of your car. Obviously, you'd have to turn it all the way on. You'd hit the speed limit. You have to turn it all the way off, on, off, on, off, and just jerking around. It would be not great for your car. Well, that's exactly how your air conditioning system works right now. Variable speed air conditioning technology has a fully modulating compressor in the outer unit, fully modulating fan. It only gives you the exact amount of air conditioning that you need. So you probably save money, too, on your yeah. bill. So you save a ton of money, removes like 30% more humidity, makes you more comfortable. It filters the air more. It circulates the air more. I mean, in every possible way, it's the the best way to heat and cool your home. And so and that's the type of system we actually install for our giveaway winners. Yeah, because so. like I said, like no one knows about that stuff because I don't know about that. Like now I'm, a, I'm amazed when I go into homes or people can do everything by their phone. Yeah. Because I'm used to like in here, if you, there, if you look right there, that's that little mercury switch yes. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I love it because you just start turning. It's like, and I'm like, I hope that means it works. Like, yeah. let's do it. Uh, that, that was actually interesting learning how it works here because this building is pretty old. It's an old bank building. Yeah. And then it's one of those systems where every room has to be on the same, the same temperature to mm -hmm. like to react. Mm -hmm. And it's, I was like, so what's the point of having three different? Just have one switch. Like, what, what does it matter? <laughs> but uh, yeah. that's 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 the city for you. I like that. But uh, but residential homes are like futuristic now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the variable speed technology. I mean, it's the best way to save energy. It's the best way to get you more comfort because it gives you more comfort too. So it doesn't just lower your bill. It also makes you more comfortable because you've got less humidity, less temperature swings. It filters the air more, circulates the air more. It's better in, better in every way. And it's the wave of the future. Eventually, all air conditioning systems will be that way. Right now, we're kind of phasing out the old stuff and phasing in the new stuff. But yeah, that's the stuff we're most excited about because, I mean, it's like you have lower bills and you're more comfortable. It's awesome. And then you have the power companies controlling your AC. That's a thing, I heard. That right. is a thing, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, we don't recommend people sign up for those programs. Really? Yeah. So, well, you can sign up in some energy companies. I don't really get it. I mean, it's yeah. like, why would I want to have that? And then, because you know, people have those smart thermometers. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's part of the agreement you have with your power company. And But I guess you don't have to sign up for I have no idea. Yeah. Because, like, we only have one, like, here in Conroe, there's majority just one energy provider. Mm-hmm. And I can't imagine if they, like, the hell that would be raised if they like, hey, everyone's got to have one of these. Well, it happened. It's happened in a couple of places in the country where the, the energy companies give out free smart thermostats. Yeah. 
And uh, they sign an agreement to basically say, yeah, but we'll be able to adjust your thermostat during peak demand periods and yeah. things like this. And uh, people are a little unhappy about that. So, yeah, we don't recommend people do that sort of thing. We do recommend smart thermostats, though. I mean, it just it prevents you from having to get out of bed to switch it over from heat to cool or whatever. It's yeah, because I, I, we have one. I, I have one. And what I like about it is, you know, if you don't have to do the old school, oh, I'm going to work. I better save some money. And you adjust it. Now you can just set it up on your phone and be like, "Oh, auto do this, auto do this during this time," and mm-hmm. you, that's pretty. It's pretty incredible what you can do. Well, the the smart thermostats that we install, uh, like with our Daikin Fit systems, that's the that's the type of system we, we use in the giveaway. But they come with a thermostat that you can enable what's called geofencing, and you don't even have to schedule a thermostat. Whenever all the phones leave the house that have the app on it, when you leave, it sets it to the away temperature. When you're on That's your crazy. way home and you pass through the geofence, it automatically starts cooling it down or heating it up. And so you don't even have to program it. It does it automatically. It's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are very clear that they don't know exactly where you are. They just know you're inside sure. the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I have my geofence set up so that it's in the radius includes the grocery store so when i hit the grocery store on my way home it automatically starts cooling my home that's again that's creepy uh (laughs) well one thing i always i get pissed off about with that kind of stuff is there's not a backup of the old school way because i was dealing that with my parents where they're they had one of those digital ones and the digital one it was not connecting to the system Hmm. and i asked them i was like so is there no other way to adjust your ac or your heat if this is does not work and like I don't know, and I'm like that's not good. Like, how, and I never understood like why can't you just go up in the attic and there's literally a thing. It's like set it to that. Mm. Well, and so the the new the you new, don't have that, do you? The, the new thermostats that we install they're so reliable that if yeah, because a lot of our customers you know are like you know I don't want Jeff Bezos looking at my thermostat. You know they don't want Google in there and this type of you stuff. Got some great customers that was, over there. That was a bad. That was a bad. Most of our customers don't sound like that, but. All joking aside, uh, there are people who are <laughs> please, like... Please call Carl's quality with, <laughs> with that impersonation. With that impersonation. But people, there are people who don't want to connect online. They don't want to be connected to the web. And that's totally fine. The thermostats work without it, too. So Yeah. But I just it was just one of those conundrums. I was like, why would they not have a way to adjust anything if this is broken? Mm-hmm. So that kind of sucked for them. But mm-hmm. I've, you just have to go online and learn the schematics of the board and i figured it out yeah just google it you know figure it out so. well that's another reason for a smart stat so my my grandmother had that issue recently where she has a smart stat on the wall it's a digital pad mm-hmm. and uh it went out and the stat was like 800 dollars or something to replace and um but she has the app on her phone and so she's just been using the app on her phone and it works mm-hmm. See, that's, see, this is what businesses should do. Is because you know they, char- you know, you always get that trickster who's adjusting the AC all the time. Mm-hmm. So you get a fake one, and then you have your phone doing it the whole time. There you go. We may or may not have done that before. I believe it. So yeah. at the bowling alley, that's a constant thing. It's hilarious when people come in. They're like trying to mess with it on the wall. I'm like, yeah, look at these fools. <laughs> they think that works. But so when my when my oldest son was, I think about two or three years old, he would always try to mess with the thermostat when I was carrying him around. So I put his own little fake thermostat low down on the wall that he could play with all he wanted. And uh, so, but we've we've had a couple of people where there's a person in a particular office complaining about the temperature. Mm-hmm. And we go in and theatrically install a thermostat on the wall for them to have their own temperature control. And, it's a mental thing. It, it really does, is. And it doesn't yeah. actually do anything, but they feel better. So yeah, we've done that. And people are really touchy about their AC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, air conditioning, electrical, and plumbing are what separate the third world from the first world, right? So having those things is super important. And if you're without any of them, you get pretty testy. And if they don't work well, you know, you get pretty upset, right? So, so who are we thinking who answers the phone calls? So I feel like we should be thanking those people because they're the on the first of the line to deal with those nasty customers. Yeah, Or yeah. testy, I like that. Testy. So, well, we have three wonderfully talented ladies who answer the phone for us. Yeah, we've got Mackenzie, Crystal, and Lauren. Oh. And they are wonderful in every way. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they uh, they are our first line of defense. Because so. mm-hmm. I can't imagine doing that. That's crazy. Well, uh, is there any more details about the giveaway we need to say? Because like I said, you do this every year. And if listeners want to nominate a family, can they nominate themselves? 
or is that, it? Uh, yeah, so that's one of the conditions in the form that fills out is that you can't nominate yourself. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So there is a link to the form or to the website. Uh, it's cooling, uh, carlscoolingllc.com, but I also have a direct link to the giveaway information. So if you're interested in learning more about that nominated family, it's all right there on the website. It's kind of easy to understand. There's a button that says nominate, and there you go. And then uh, you guys are just con- – like, what, is this like the down period for you guys because it's just – not hot. Yeah, it does slow down a little bit in the winter time, but it's one of those things that it happens every year, so you can kind of predict it and plan for it. Yeah. So we're busy doing other things. Like this is the perfect time to check your system. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's the perfect time to do that work that maybe you were too busy to do in the summer. You know, like like a lot of people, we went to their house and maybe they had other issues other than the immediate problem. We fix the immediate problem and we say, hey. You know, maybe later in the year we can do deal with those other issues we found. Mm-hmm. You know, like adding return errors, fixing duct work, things like that, where you don't want to be in a 160 degree attic. So it's time to follow up on things like that. We're busy in different ways, uh, but yeah, the giveaway. What I would say, things, details to talk about is, you know, when in doubt, just nominate. You know, if you're, you're not 100% sure, like we can work out those details. We can examine the system, figure out what the issue is. Um, go to our website, think of people in your family, your church, your community, you know, people that maybe you go to work with. The mm-hmm. first winner of the official giveaway, and by the way, Carl, this is something Carl had been dreaming of doing since he started his company. He always wanted to be profitable enough and, and be a big enough company to where he could do this stuff and be this generous. He's got a huge heart. He's an amazing human being, and he, he dreamed of it, and our very first one that we did was with a lady who um, – she worked in a police department, and uh, no, her two daughters worked in a police department, I believe. I'm getting the details half right. Anyways, they, um, they, the husband passed away. The kids moved in with the mom to help her out. They were all living there in the house, helping her keep things up, and she was just the one that held the whole family together and was so busy helping other people, she wasn't able to help herself. And one of her coworkers... Uh, one of the daughter's co-workers saw about our giveaway on the back of one of our trucks and he said wow th- this lady if if anyone's worthy of this giveaway it's her and of course she ended up winning it was a big deal for her and her family and that house had never had central ac and heating before what mm-hmm. so yeah they here were just, in texas yeah they was working with window units and space heaters Ugh. and like all the kids living there helping pay the bills and everything and we were able to install uh we had to do duct work under the house hard duct work under the house and everything but we got her heating and cooling but again it was a person who like sat next to her cubicle at work and like nominated you know that way so anyways that long story to say like just nominate people put them in there where we want as many as possible and again that link is right there for you guys in the description if you're listening on the fm just visit our facebook uh our lone star like that and it's all right there so is there anything else you guys want to talk about what's going on it's it's thursday it's, it's thursday it's man. an it's a be- it's, the weather's been beautiful it has been uh, one more thing with the giveaway. Yeah. So we usually do our announcement through Facebook Live between the 21st and 23rd. Mm-hmm. And then when we actually perform the install is first or second week of January. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want to check out their Facebook, I'll put a link to that too, to Carl's. And, I mean, so we got a, a cool pump system that regulates your AC and heat. Mm-hmm. So that's the cool tech. Mm-hmm. And then we have Jeff Bezos watching you. Always. And... Yeah. Is there, I mean, I'm trying to think, is there, like, is there anything else that's really cool? Because I know, like, when my parents got theirs, what I thought was interesting was they had one of those, uh, the clamp systems, where if they could decide, like, if no one's over at that side of the house, they mm-hmm. could clamp it and close it off, sure. and more air would go, say, towards the living room if we're having Christmas morning with 30 people in the room, sure, and stuff like that. And I thought that was a little cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. So what you're referring to is what's zoning called zoning. Or, yeah. yeah, zoning, where you can have one air conditioning system, but it behaves like more than one. Mm-hmm. So you can have like a thermostat. Maybe you have a two story house with one AC system. You know, so you could have a thermostat upstairs, thermostat downstairs. You could independently control the temperature. Uh, one thing that we've been doing a lot more in the recent years are uh, ductless mini split systems. And so that's where, like, if you have a garage or, like, a garden shed, do mm-hmm. people call them garden sheds? Call them she sheds. A she, she, sheds, a she yeah. shed, a man cave. Um, you can get a very energy efficient, very effective uh, mini split air conditioner for, like, a single room. 
Uh, but a lot of people are installing them in their like master bedrooms, right? They'll are you take, talking about the things that are going on the wall? They go, they there? go high on the wall. Yeah. yeah, they have a little outdoor unit, little indoor yeah. unit, and um, you can transform your garage into like the ultimate man cave or she shed or game room, and an affordable and very effective way. And so those are getting more and more popular. Those are really cool. But people will put them in like their master bedroom. Like maybe all the kids have moved out, and they're like, "Man, why are we running the AC just to cool a room?" like a ductless mini split in just one room. I mean, you have total independent temperature control, keep it as cold as you want or as warm as you want, and it's not you're not using a lot of electricity. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those, especially in like a new apartment complexes and things like that. And I was like, I guess that's the way that needs to go, I guess. Yeah, and they're, they're made popular like uh, Mr. Cool DIY AC systems. They advertise on Facebook and stuff. We actually love Mr. Cool because we replace a lot of those after they failed after just a couple months and so we replaced a lot of those i think we're actually replacing one uh, this week uh yes and anyways they're made popular by like the diy websites but we professionally install them and people love them they're great again you could have like the workshop you've always wanted you'd be able to use it in the or you just don't want your tools to rust in your garage right they're really great for that well, I think that's also something we need to kind of note on for people. Is when people think of HVAC systems, they think a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So when you when you guys work with people, it's case by case. It isn't like I, I go to your website and you have two options. You have the you know the Rolls Royce or you got the Ford pickup truck. Yeah. So it's more of case by case, and don't be afraid. I imagine don't, you don't want people not to call just to, like you said, you can come and check it out. Absolutely. So we work with all of our customers on it, like you said, a case by case basis. I mean, we normally offer people like if they're getting a complete system replacement, we offer them up to seven options. Right? Yeah. You've got your absolute cost cutter. Like, hey, I just want cold air blowing in my house. I don't yeah. care about nothing. And again, else. this customer you know? is bad. And then you've got well, one thing you'll do. I I like is like say I hate my my son, and I'm like just don't don't heat his room. Just do the <laughs> yes. cool. Just do cool. Yeah. I don't want him to have heat at all. Well, suffering builds character, yes. right? So if you don't like him, maybe the suffering will, you know, turn him into a... Just put a, a fake AC unit in his room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't working. So, <laughs> but yeah, we offer cost-cutter options all the way up to the absolute best of the best yeah. of air conditioning. But we also offer flexible payment well, plans for customers, too. So it's, Well, that's one kind of, uh, you know, because you do have quality in your name. So that's one kind of thing I've always wondered is, you know, when you say the best of the best, that doesn't necessarily mean it's made from the best components. It's more of like it, it provides the best for that situation, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Because, like, you don't need to buy a unit that can do a whole warehouse, mm-hmm. and that doesn't mean that's the best for your house. Yeah, you're you're raising a really good point. So whenever people, if you go to, like, I think it's consumeraffairs.com, Every single air conditioning brand has one star review out of like five, right? And it's because everything that has to do with the reliability, the comfort, uh, the energy efficiency, and all of those things that you get, that you want out of an air conditioning system, all of those have nothing to do with the manufacturer, have nothing to do with the parts they're made out of. It is 100% up to the installer yeah that's what i'm that's what i was thinking yeah. it's like you're the guy who goes into the, like and look at a house like i know exactly what kind of system this place needs yeah and and so the reason like consumeraffairs.com you know has like every brand has a low review is because the the manufacturers cannot overcome the 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 bad install yeah and so it's 100 percent dependent upon like quality installation like even if you look at like uh, energy efficiency ratings of equipment. They'll say up to this, up to that, up to 16 seer, up to 18 seer. Well, the reason they say up to is because that's only potential efficiency. Yeah, they might install it backwards. <laughs> so we've literally seen, we had a customer that had a system that was supposed to be 20 seer, and um, it was ve- very poorly installed. We actually got called by the manufacturer to go in and solve a problem Check that out. someone else had created. They're like, hey, can you go? So everyone calls you. Yeah, so we do. We actually, so we did get called by the manufacturer of a particular brand to uh, to train other companies' installers, and so. But anyway, so you are in it. It we, sounds like you are just we, in we, the HVAC world. We try to be the quality AC company, and so this particular customer had a twenty seer system. We tested it before we made any changes. It was like a twelve seer out of a potential of twenty. It's actually worse than the one that they had, the company had taken out. 
just because all the things that made up the quality, efficiency, longevity were all skipped over and were basically botched by a bad install. So let's, who was it? Let's say, let's say their names. <laughs> <laughs> so it rhymes with, I'm just kidding. Uh, but back to what you were, you were saying, yeah, we go into a situation and the home really tells you what, what is needed as far as equipment sizing. The customer tells you what they want as far as comfort, indoor air quality, all of that. And we work with the customer and the home to make sure they get exactly what they need and whatever they buy, they get 100% of what they pay for. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of contractors think you're just going to be tricked by like a cheap price or like a slick presentation, you know, and uh, we find in our experience, most customers are ripped off by the low price guy, you know, not, I mean, there's the high price guy out there too, that's ripping people off, but really they just think people will be tricked by a low number and uh, often there's a high cost to a low price. So when I call you guys, you're going to sh- shoot it straight and be like, this is what I would recommend. But then I can be like, well, I'm poor. And then you're going to be like, well, then in that case, we'll do this. It's probably the cheapest you could go with quality. Yeah. So you won't even sell a cheap system. You're like, no, we're not doing that because that's going to be horrible for your house. Yeah. So we don't ever want anybody to overspend. Right. Yeah. So we want to avoid people overspending. We don't want people to spend any more than they need to to get you know, 100% of what they need. And we have flexible payment options. Like I think even the highest end system you can possibly get, uh, you put that in air quotes. I mean, it's like less than $200 a month, right? Mm -hmm. So we can work with people at any budget, any situation and whatever their needs are. I want to say I put your phone number in. Let's see if I did that. Did I do my job correctly? No, I didn't. I just did your website. Sorry about that. (laughs) So do you guys know the phone number or do you want me to look it up? Yeah, Taylor, what's our phone number? Oh yeah, here we go. 936... Two six four four one one three three. Yeah, nine three six two six four one one three three. I'm gonna add that to the description. I got it right there, and uh, there we go. <laughs> just in case, just in case people want to call today, yeah. Especially if they have questions about the nominations, because I imagine a lot of people call about that. Uh, mm-hmm. You guys, thank you so much for coming in, uh, and good luck to the family who needs to be nominated. So I think that's a great thing you guys are doing and a, a good way to, you know, get someone to have a good HVAC system because there's a lot to it. So uh, Taylor and Justin, thank you so much for coming in. You're listening to Mornings of Lone Star, IRLoneStar.com. We're going to get back to the music. If you want to be on the show, reach out to us, lscrstudios at gmail.com. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>